welcome to Bofta. Yes, sir. Sir. Thank you, sir. So happy yeah. and uh, proud. Your film, uh, you know, Kondral Power is getting such a big uh, yeah. recognition across. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you initiated with a good uh, review, and uh, it, it was a very positive review. And uh, and you, you need a big heart to appreciate somebody's creation. You did it, you initiated it, and it has spread it like a fire. Guys, you know, you all watched Kondral Power. How do you felt it? So let's give a round of applause and welcome him. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. How was the film? You all felt Kondral Power. Huh? Very uh, sharp film and it also created the impact of the end, right? Yes, so tell us, sir, uh, your journey has been very inspiring. Yeah. Uh, in fact, when I uh, look at your career, yeah. and uh, for information, you know, the band, you know, despite being a Tamilian, he went and made a big name in Kannada cinema. <laughs> can you believe, uh, you know, somebody can make a mark in a different language cinema? So it's like somebody coming from Gujarat and, you know, maybe she'll become a very big cinematographer in... Uh, <laughs> Mumbai, okay, from Mumbai and she'll become a big uh, no, cinematographer in Tamil cinema. What do you think? So, he has gone all the way from, you know, here in Tamil Nadu and uh, big, you know, big uh, struggle, Kannada cinema is not easy. Yeah. Uh, tell us the journey, you know, where you thought, you know, you should enter the cinema industry and how, instead of Tamil cinema, why you entered Kannada cinema? And a big journey in Canada cinema, and yeah. 18 films. Yeah, 18 films. 18 yeah. films in Canada. Canada. Now you are coming to Tamil. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, you know, you should have struggled and started in Tamil. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people make yeah. in uh, Tamil cinema, then yeah. they go to Canada. Yeah. And here you are coming reverse. Yeah. Tell us about that. See, the, the thing is, uh, uh, I mean, if I have to uh, start with my profile, how I started my career, one thing is that I never wanted to be a writer or a director, actually. So basically, uh, uh, people in my teenage, uh, uh, mostly girls, they admire me a lot. They used to admire me a lot, my personality. I used to look, I mean, I look like actor Murali. Oh, okay. uh, you must be knowing uh, Murali, who is a sensational actor here, who was, who was from Karnataka actually. Okay. He's son of uh, director Siddhlingaya. Okay. So my uh, skin tone, my hair style, everything, my mentor is Murali. So that is the reason this hair style, everything. I made it. I, I love him a lot. So probably after started loving Murali so much as an actor, I wanted to be an actor actually. So, uh, but so that's the, a lot of women used to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, you know that, no, sir. Murali, Murali had a very nice. He was a. Yeah. He had a big uh, uh, fan following, particularly from the uh, women. Uh, 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 you know, you see them, you know. The lover who was never loved. <laughs> and I don't know. From the from the beginning, uh, he yeah. had a lot of uh, women fan. So the, the obviously, I I, I I cannot even touch Murali's uh, personality or his charm. <laughs> but still, for the Villapuram town, for the small town where I born and brought up, I was a Murali there. <laughs> the local Murali there. So that see always now you have women appreciating your uh, skill, appreciating your craft, appreciating your skill. Really, it gives you more push than a male. Th th this we have to accept it actually. You no, know, when when your friend says that you are singing good, when your female friend says that you are singing good, definitely your energy level. <laughs> Look for that. You know, somebody, your girl has to appreciate you. Then only you get more. It, it is always you no know, like when you when the father uh, when you get appreciation, your father. Uh, you, you think that okay when you when you get it same thing from your mother definitely it is more emotional and the value is more so yeah. that way I don't put it in a very uh, uh, I mean internal meaning way I put it in a very very emotional way always women words are more powerful than men that is what I feel I feel that's what my experience also so I wanted to uh, get into films as an actor but, but uh, uh, actually unfortunately I lost my father uh, when I was uh, six, seven years old. So my mother struggled a lot and uh, she b brought us, she gave good education to my brother, myself. Of course, my sister uh, didn't like to uh, study properly. So she gave good education. So my aim was like, uh, I was very matured even in, uh, even in my school, uh, school days. Like uh, I could uh, realize the struggle what my mother was, uh, uh, I mean, taking uh, the, the struggle what she was having for us. So I thought, okay, first I should fulfill my mother's dream. Okay. Then let me uh, uh, pursue my own thing, whatever I wanted to become, then we will concentrate on that. <coughs> so I really I followed her, but uh, like I did my diploma in civil engineering from Mutaya Polytechnic, Chidambaram. Then from there, 87, I completed my, uh, I am 70 born actually. 
when I was 17 years old, I completed my polytechnic. I worked as a site engineer for six to nine months. Fortunately, I got a job as a central government employee, as a junior scientific assistant in 1988 itself in Bangalore. Super. In 1988 itself in Bangalore, uh, you know that like IIT. You're it is IIT. In 18th year itself, you got a job. Yeah, job. I am a central government employee when I was 18 years old. Fantastic. Uh, so that also my mother only got. I will also. It's a small story. I was uh, working as a site engineer in uh, Kongu Valaral Kalyana Mandamam, which is in uh, Koyamathur, in Tirupur. Shokumar sir, Satyara sir, they are also part of that uh, uh, trust actually. I was a site engineer. There was a small cutting in the, uh, uh, small uh, public, uh, pub, uh, I mean, small uh, paper cutting in uh, Dinatandi paper. My mother sent it by post that there was a call for, for uh, junior scientific assistant in Bangalore. I applied for the post. I went and uh, uh, did the written test. Uh, my English was very bad. Even now it's very bad. <laughs> That's different. But you know that like from, from a Villupuram town, uh, a municipal high, uh, school, uh, high, uh, high school, th th that could be the English level, but still I could manage. I did uh, good in my interview and the written test, everything. I got the job. There I wanted to tell you something. When I applied the job, I was working in Tirupur. But I left the job and came to Villupuram. I attended the interview. I came to Villupuram. I wrote a letter to IAC register saying that I know that I will be getting my appointment order, please send the appointment order to this address. Fantastic. This is what I have done when I was in 18 years old. That was so, the confident level. So confident you were. Yeah, th that was my confident level. There are more than 580 candidates, three posts. And uh, I wrote a letter to the register of IAC that, uh, sir, when I applied, I had given Tirupur address. Now I have migrated to Villapuram. Please send the appointment order to this address. <laughs> I got the appointment order. So this is the way I went to Bangalore, actually. Uh, then when I was 21, 22, I got married. Uh, government so, jobs. Government obviously. job, obviously. Right. And uh, so I got married. Uh, I Till 33, I was working. Like 15 years, I was working very sincerely. Then I thought, okay, now I should uh, do something for my, uh, in the, whatever my ch uh, ch childhood interest. Like I wanted to become an actor. So then I thought, okay, I should act. Uh, uh, that was also a, 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 it's an interesting thing, funny thing. That I chose the director to whom I have to work. My God. It is not that I, I took some photographs, went to all the office and gave. <laughs> there was a serial called Marma Desam. I don't know how many of you know that. Uh, 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 very popular serial that Naga, was that time Naga. Naga directed. So I thought if I become an actor, if I want to become an actor, I should go through Naga. So I, in my life, I approached only one director, that was Naga. Mm. So my good time, like he admired me a lot. He, he said that the way I spoke, he said, no, better you became a writer. So I, 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 mean, I used to write small, uh, I mean, short stories, small uh, poems, everything in my teenage when I was in school. But Naga found the, found the writer in me, actually. He said, like, generally you'll be asking, so how was the travel? I used to travel from Bangalore to uh, Chennai every day, weekend. So generally you'll be telling what happened in the travel. So I used to narrate whatever the experience I had in the travel. He liked my narration and said that you can become a writer. So you're a good narrator. That's why you know he liked you. Yeah. So you're not telling in a boring way. Yeah. You're telling in an entertaining, yeah, entertaining way. way. Probably then he said that you can uh, be a writer. Then even my mind uh, said that, okay. So at that time, you know that better that uh, Kailasam, uh, the Bala Kailasam, son of uh, Balachandar sir, is a big genius. Uh, is a fantastic writer, very good uh, 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 storyteller. Uh, so I had an opportunity to sit in the discussion with them for uh, different serials. So that molded me as a writer, sir. How many years you just like? Uh, hardly I was there for one, one and a half years. Okay, but, but that experience was great. That, that experience was tremendous. Actually, so any... You left the job and joined? In no, 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 no. no. Only in? weekend I used to go. They will give me assignment. Uh -huh. So all the five days I used to work. Then again weekend I will go and okay. give the whatever I have written. I will discuss with but them. this the way. You decided that one, one I realized it. Yeah, yeah. No, I am ready for something. No, actually I was forced to resign the job. The sense, uh, I lost all my uh, leave, everything, whatever the all that, I mean okay. government, uh, as per the rules, you know, yeah. so you have you certain really period, leave, leave thing. Uh, everything is ex exhausted. I, I was getting the first notice from the uh, uh, register saying that you are taking a lot of uh, leave. Okay. 
So then I thought, okay, uh, I don't want to uh, do injustice to my profession also because as an even as a uh, scientific assistant, I scored a lot as an employee in, in, in my position. So I don't want to do injustice to that. So I luckily that time that the VRS was announced, you know that in, uh, in yeah. uh, 90s, lot of, uh, in 2000, a lot of uh, uh, proposals were there for voluntary re retirement scheme. So I got a good scheme which was benefit for me. I mean, a lot of benefit was there financially. So I took a call, I resigned, uh, but my wife, uh, not, she didn't even think for a while. Sir. When, I, when I went and told that I'm going to resign the job, I want to get into cinema, she said, go ahead. Whatever gives you happy, you do it. That's what she told. That's what even in the audio launch I said in, in my first Amazing, uh, no? Such a kind of understanding. Yeah, understanding. Uh. Till today she is with me. Okay. Till today. Today morning also she was, from the release day, till today she was with me in Chennai. Today morning she went to uh, job. She is still working. She is working in IAC physics department as a secretary to the chairman of uh, physics department where Sarsi Viraman was uh, doing his research. So such a support I had. To be honest, I didn't have much struggle as a director because I was I started working with Naga sir. From Naga sir, I went to Kannada industry. I had some good contact with Amselaka sir. Through him, I started working with Upendra sir. When I started working with Upendra sir, I had lot of uh, offers actually. Mm. Uh, How long have you been working with Upendra sir? I worked for one and a half years, two years. Two years. years. Two years I worked. See Upendra sir, even today is so yes, much of the rocking. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Gapsa, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Gapsa. Gapsa sir. Gapsa. 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 In Tamil, Gapsa means, you know, uh, like poi, uh, lai. Uh, Kanada? But Kanaka, Gapsa means, uh, sir, there, it, it, they, they adopt a lot of English, uh, Hindi words actually. Okay. Okay. But generally, the usage for the guts. Guts one is Gapsa. Gapsa. Okay. Now, tell us, you know, you are trained, you came here. You started learning from you know, Naga sir, mm. and, you know, Bala Kailasam sir was helpful. Why you didn't want to pitch here in Tamil? Why you wanted to get into Canada? Yeah, that's what. What happened is when I, when I started working there, I had a lot of offers from multiple producers mm. because uh, peop, th th there was a, it's a very small uh, industry actually. So th 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 there was a talk that there is an assistant with Upendra who writes well. Okay. There was an industry talk. So I used to get a lot of offers, can you be a writer for my film? Then I started working as a ghost writer for many films. So many producers witnessed my work and one of the producers came forward. I didn't, I didn't want to be a director also. So he came forward and said that why can't you direct a film for me? And uh, he didn't have a good reputation, that producer. But I still I thought, okay, for a, for a, just for your experience, we can become a director. It, it was not that with a lot of ambition, become a director, no. Okay, I thought, okay, some offer has come, we will do the thing. But I did a sensible film. Mm. Though the film didn't do well, it was a sensible film. It was a very stale project for one year. But before releasing that project, I got another project from another producer. Mm. He also just judged my uh, writing skill and he, uh, he made me, he gave me another, before the film was released, he gave me another project, which I did with Ramya Krishna, madam. Okay. There also I did a women-centric film. Okay. Uh, it is called Baba Ro Rasika. So that got released first actually. Okay. So it's a big hit that time. Okay. That time itself, it's a different story and it was a big hit in other languages, the remake rights were taken and also from there the career started, sir. But tell us, you know, the, uh, how you learn Kannada faster? Because you're coming from Vidupuram and all this. Okay. How you got, you know, because for students it's important, they pick up other languages. Yes. So useful that, you know, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. learned Kannada, that's why... You yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can speak Kannada to the level of see, I don't, I don't know to read or write Kannada. My pronunciation is not so good because as a Tamilian, a Kannada pronunciation will be more of Sanskrit uh, thing. Like for example, for Tamilians, we Tamilians, we say Pakistan. Uh, as I know, we don't say Pakistan. We say Pakistan. We say Badmanaban. Uh, though we have the letter of pa ba, when we pronounce, pronounce, we, we don't give that importance. But Kannadigas. They will pronounce very rightly. They will pronounce Padmanabhan, Pakistan, and you know that Amritsar. There is a town called that's a town Amritsar, Punjab. Tamilians, we will say Amirda Saras. This is what our textbook uh, 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 return. So the thing is, our way of learning was most of the, the medium was Tamil. So our pronunciation, everything was that way. But it was very difficult for me to learn that language first. Then. Uh, then I was following the sound actually. Here I am t I'm also telling you, if you want to learn a language, first follow the sound, how to pronounce it. Then 
of course you have to process any language if you want to deliver in any language if i, I am delivering now in english so automatically i will consume in tamil when i deliver you are i am delivering in english the same thing is applicable for any other any other language but see that you pronounce it in a very very uh, right way the sound so that is the thing so when i start, actually uh, for, when i was working in iac Uh, it is called. Uh, I mean, don't mind that it was. It was not Indian Institute of Science. They used to call us Iyengar Institute of Science, because lot of Tamilians were the professors and the students. So there were no opportunity for me to speak uh, Canada. Mm. So uh, I used to manage with the broken English and the good Tamil. Good Tamil. Because the office is talking in Tamil. The whole 550 acres, yeah. 70 to 80 percent are Tamilians, and a few North Indians, and uh, next is Telugu. So I never had an opportunity to learn Kannada. Okay. But when I came to uh, uh, cinema, the discussions where I went as ghost writer, I started speaking Kannada. Then I learned Kannada within two two years. I learned good Kannada. Today I, I can go to, like see uh, I can uh, uh, I can judge a language. You know when somebody is speaking Kannada, I can easily correct him. That so, was through sound. Uh, yeah, yeah, through the sound, through the sound, not through the uh, I mean texture so or something. Can you say that you know your breakthrough in Kannada is because your script language, the script what you? Yeah, write. yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, because because of my script, yeah. Uh, script language because they were looking for a lot of story writers. Yes. Story tellers. Yes, so always. You are a good story teller. Yes, yes. So what they wanted you in the part of the script department is because you can tell nice. Yeah, nicely, I can narrate nicely. Nice stories. Yeah, I, actually, I wanted to tell you something, sir. When uh, Upendra sir was popular, you know that like after E. It it was a sensational hit all over the India. The next film is Upendra, mm. that was the second film. The third film was H two O. Mm. For H two O, Upendra need not have to look for a narrator actually, but the way he saw me as a narrator, uh, there was a character called Prakruti in uh, H two O. In the H two O cinema, there is a character called Prakruti, which is supposed to be played by Shivaji sir. Uh, then in in Telugu, we were approaching Krishna. Everywhere used to take me and say that okay, it is my story only, but he will narrate better, better than me. Like that, he used to put in front of Krishna, he used to put in front of uh, Nageshwar Rao. I have, I had the opportunity to narrate story to Nageshwar Rao and Krishna. So, which is you really you need a big heart for that. He will say that sir, my story is mine, but he will narrate better than me. He will say that too. Uh, uh, Upendra sir, sir is very good in Telugu also. He speaks good Telugu also, but still he thought my Tamil is good. My narration is good, but you know that Telugu artists, everyone are good in Tamil. So I used to do the narration for uh, um, Nageshwar Rao. I did the narration. Krishna sir, I did the narration for Shivaji sir. I could not meet Shivaji sir. I met uh, uh, Ram sir, uh, Ram, Kumar, Ram sir. Kumar sir, and I narrated. Yes. So this is the way. Like my confidence level were built by others. I had the confidence, but still it was boosted by others. So it's a great. You know, I'm a big director to give you the support. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. To make sure that you now you gain that confidence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell us, you know, after that one film become a hit and then second film comes in. Yeah. So now, how do you started focusing on only Kannada cinema? And yours are very unique cinema. Yes, like sir. Yeah. You are making in a tight budget. Yeah, tight budget. All your films, you know, when I look at your history, yes. all are very tight budget. Very limited number of days you are shooting. Limited number of artists. Limited number of artists you are shooting. Why is this, you know, kind of focus like that? One thing is uh, when I started doing my that is Babur or Rasika with the Ramya Krishna Madam, uh, the offer the, the offer was given in a very very funny way. He is a big builder. The producer is a big builder. He said uh, 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 he he spoke to me in Telugu. He said, "Miko ka offer is thano se stara." So just that sir, chapandi sir na. Ramya Krishna Madam me kado staro eleven days se kado unaro uh, for uh, different. They had some. Uh, Uh, a property deal or something for that 11 days ikkada unnaru uh, generally she will be free between 10 to 10 in the that, that span oka cinema chestara i ask to me can you believe uh, 10 to 10 she is free and only 11 days 11 days they they, they had a big joint venture he is a big builder in uh, in airport road he had lot of properties so they had some uh, last thing she did some shoot for them So they said ten to ten this way films are star. I said yes, sir. Actually, that is once again a funny thing. He said, uh, so by, by the time there was a big hit for Ramya Krishna. Rakta Kanir was remade in uh, Canada. Rakta Kanniru, Rakta Kanniru. 
and uh, in that there was a popular song called babaro rasika that where uh, uh, yamar radha goes to uh, a prostitute house in the original right, thing right. no that's uh, that song o rasikam simane yeah. sir i don't know what song it is the same song was there that was the first line was babaro rasika the producer asked me do you have a story honestly i didn't have a story but that was an opportunity for me he said he asked me i said yes then he said narrate me tomorrow morning 10 o'clock okay sir i will narrate mm. this was given around 3 o'clock in the afternoon mm. so i went home i went home there was a small thread in my mind when i was traveling somewhere there was a small thread in my mind so i developed as a story then i thought okay what are the nearest films i have come in the same line that time that vhs was there no vhs cassettes were there i picked all the vhs cassette put what are the elements were not sto- told in that story i picked that and wrote a screenplay within overnight i wrote the screenplay around 110 scenes i wrote in one night next day morning there was a friend called shashank he is a very popular director now in kannada so he had a uh, he had a complaint actually medical problem health issue then he will go to toilet and sit for more than 1 and 1/2 hours to 2 hours He, he he had that sort of habit even the health issue so i i i i used to i i went to his home around 7 o'clock he was in the toilet i was outside so i i used to tell all i, I told all the 110 scenes to him and he was there in the toilet he said this is good that is not good this is good like that the discussion by 9:30 we freeze down 63 scenes this is what we are going to narrate 4 o'clock i went and narrated the story producers like the story we shot the whole film in 17 days the thing is what i'm trying to say is from the day one i was forced to work under the limits and the crisis so my, mentally i was people today also somebody is asking me first thing i will say sir how much money you have two crores we will do it sir within two crores we will do it sir we will see something sir that, that is the way generally i see that my producers uh, interest is safeguard like he, he should not lose money at least you should end up with a name and uh, a break even that was there in my heart from the day one so you learned that skill of you know how to do it in a compact manner compact manner and now that you know there's somebody giving you dates and within that you know how to structure the story <laughs> and i like the idea like you know he didn't copy any of the scene just look at it what he said you understood what he said he saw all the major films what all they didn't tell he picked up those ideas I didn't. okay they didn't say this they didn't say this okay these are the ideas we'll pick it up because these stories you know if you copy only it's a mistake. a mistake but if you pick up an inspiration that you know what all you pick up which can narrate it you know which is actually the, so for that also the reason is i had a story that was not inspired by from any anywhere it was a original story but there was parallel films to that story there were many films uh, i mean very close to that story then i thought okay this story should not uh, reflect like that so we, we should work hard then i i saw some six seven films what are the things i should not do i wrote the thing and i delivered How did it the film do so it, it was a super hit that's no, what i'm that telling was the that was my first film okay it was a super hit uh, babar or rasika uh, and, and also it is a nice title you got it yeah nice title i got it uh, and i never expected that will be a big hit so much a big hit it was a big hit actually one there is a uh, there was a, a journalist called is a theater personality also a s muthi very uh, senior writer journalist he wrote only one line that triggered the whole thing like he said after putana kanagal uh, nobody could uh, show the lust in such a poetic way this guy has shown he wrote in his uh, review so that changed my whole life even you could have seen in uh, kondral bawam also Correct. where yeah. the girl is lifting the skirt yeah i never tried to show a skin show and i never did it i will not do it also i have done a film only for that for uh, for example i did a film called masala my intention was to do the sex comedy the, the genre was that i did it i will not use a cinema to exploit a woman for that i have see so, suppose if you want to do your cinema for that purpose, particular purpose do your cinema only for that don't mix up things i was very clear from my day one and uh, even in my cinema you can see that when a, when a woman is dancing i never shown the you know not general the back shot the breast shots nothing was shown in my film no it does see what i'm trying to say is you be clear with your thoughts what you are going to do what is your genre who is your uh, 
audience yes sir no, 18 films in uh, you know canada yes yeah. 12 years 17 years 17 years, years. Means, you know, uh, you've been every year at least one yeah one film stuff. average what are the kind of high moments you know in the journey what are the low moments how did you overcome that sir high moments was like after barbara rasika I, i i used to i i have worked for all big production houses in uh, you, you could have, you would have seen in my yeah, thing right. uh, like i worked for all the big producers in canada rockland vintage k manju k c and chandru like here if you say they are like uh, you know like uh, they are like uh, tyagarajan sir danu gnanavel raja that sort of producers they are there very senior producers i worked for everyone at a point my downfall started when i did the trida 3d mm-hmm. remake that was my first remake from tamil to kannada tamil to kannada okay so my bad time there was some fin- uh, some uh, 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 income tax raid in rockland that also rockland production only right and he could not concentrate on the publicity and it, that f- film didn't do well i don't know suddenly there was a downfall that's a very bad period for me then once again i uh, i started working after one and a half years two years with another film with such a big star ganesh okay okay ganesh mm. uh, he, he was my friend he used, he used to do comedy roles in my films mm. so th- then he became a superstar then when i went and approached mungarmala after yeah. mungarmala when i approached him he gave me dates i did a cinema called circus which was my first production okay rockland sir helped me with the idba bank loan you know that it was a very very minimal interest for uh, for any it was a very good proposal from idba actually so i did a film uh, that film didn't do well because by the time i released the circus there were two three flops for ganesh so this film this is a, def- a, a, a completely a different action film circus is a totally different action film the whole cinema was shot in a train running train mm-hmm. so uh, that film did do well what second i went out then one 3 to 6 months i sat i i derived a formula how to build my career again that was one thing that okay don't go behind actors don't, don't go go behind heroes go behind actors trust the content do films in budget in doing in budget which was a known i mean which was easy for me from the day one i was doing that so i started doing from 2011 that was my second innings so till 2023 i'm happily doing till kondral paum i'm following the same formula content so you don't chase uh, actors you chase uh, no you don't chase heroes yes. you chase actors, actors yes. and good subjects subjects so subjects and good actors good actors that's a whole formula yeah 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 and, yeah. and everything made in a tight budget tight budget tight budget the the percentage of probability of loss will be very very minimal sir because you are making it a very tight very, budget, very tight right? budget. yeah sir tell me yes, sir. Uh, you know uh, your cinema this cinema control control pounds you you are like you did in telugu yes. first you did in kannada kannada then you did in telugu, telugu. now you did in tamil yes sir how you maintain that enthusiasm to do your own film again and again like canada you know i saw the canada version yeah yeah, yeah. i wanted to co produce with you you <laughs> know when you said that i was shocked we saw the film like you know it is so uh, you know very effective and a very impactful film yes. but ott we thought you know whether it will work out or not then you went and making telugu because i yeah. wanted to do it yeah. tell me how you managed to do that like you know same you know enthusiasm sir w- one thing is there when when allar vin sir decided to to do remake the film in telugu that gave me a lot of energy like uh, you know allarvin's judgment about his script the, the 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 way he decides on the script he fix the script it's, it's amazing so okay when he said that okay this has to be made in telugu for my aha platform that gave me a lot of energy one thing is there when i did in canada i had a lot of limitation because it was my production i was the art director for apart from story screenplay dialogue direction producer i was the art director for the film I was the costume designer for the film because I didn't have the budget. I did all the work. I came to Pothis and purchased everything. I went there, stitch, got stitched. I have done so much here. Most of the properties I purchased in Chennai, my daughter helped me. So we did the film. When I went to Telugu, I wanted to give an uh, like the second version. Whatever I visually I missed in the first version, I wanted to implement it. So it gave me energy. that to for allar vin sir i am doing a film definitely it's a big energy apart from that okay there had a limitations here they are giving me 22 days let me try all my visuals so i try to do the visual 
if you feel you need more shots, I will shoot. Then he said, no, it is perfect. You know his judgment also. He sits, he watches the film, even a small editing correction also he will say. Sound correction also Allah Arvind sir will say. So then he said, no, no, perfectly you are shot. So that gave me energy that, okay, I am doing for Allah Arvind sir and I am going to implement the visuals what I had in my mind. So I did that. But Tamil the energy was different sir. Like in my mother tongue, I am going to do my debut. I am going to make my debut. So it has to be a film with a lot of moral values and literature. The first film, it, film it should, whether it is going to give me money or not, it should give me a good name. For the years what I have waited for, almost I have waited for 21 years. I never got excited to get into, like you know that I keep asking you every time, yeah, sir, can, sir can we do this, I send you a, a script also. Yeah. But I never ever uh, got excited like, okay, we'll go, we'll do something, sm small budget, we'll get, uh, uh, we will make our debut in Tamil. I never t took that decision. I was waiting for a right time and I did this, uh, it worked out, sir. No, no, amazing. <laughs> like, you know, if you can finish in such a short duration, yes. tell me how you go about doing it in such a short duration. Sir, what that, really works? Uh, yeah, See, that's all. You, you, you are not a trained director. No, I'm You're not. You're a writer. <laughs> yes, sir. From a writer, you become a director. Yes, sir. Yes. Maybe the Kannada cinema trained you how to do in the tightest budget. One, yeah, one thing, yes, yes, yes. And uh, that means what? You are shooting perfectly number of shots. Number, number of, shooting. yeah. I will not shoot, sh I will not even sh shoot one shot extra. That means no, you planned each and everything properly. Every yes, scene, yes, yes, yes. The short division is done so perfectly. Uh, that, that, that point only I am coming, sir. I don't do a short division. Then? I never do a short division in my films. This is a surprise thing for you. But thing is, when I write the script, I review it more than 20 to 25 times almost after finishing the bound script. I review it, I keep reviewing it almost for 20 25 times. I keep trimming it. In the writing itself. Writing itself. When I keep trimming it, I get the visuals in my mind. This from this dialogue, see if there is a one character is uh, delivering six lines of dialogues. When I am writing only, I will decide this only these two lines only close up, other four lines has to be suggestion. The last word has to be, once again, only the, uh, the extreme close. I will decide that while writing itself. But I will not write it in the script also. But it will be there in my mind. When I am taking the shots, it will be very clear. Sir. I never do a short division. You can, I will give the a taken file. I never do a short division. But everything is there in my mind. I don't keep the script book also in my hand. So much, the, the script would have gone inside. So, uh, uh, such a way that... Uh, People will be, if I ask scene number 62A, you see that uh, that property will be there. They will be keeping reading the book. By the time I will say, no, it will be there in the third page. So much the script, I would have, I mean, conceived inside. It would have got soaked inside so much, sir. Uh, uh, my thing is, like, when you are reading the script time and again, it goes inside uh, completely. It's not easy. What <laughs> you are saying is not easy. You know, even though you might be knowing the script in and out, you know, A to Z, you know, every page. But short division also you will remember completely. Yeah, See, uh, while writing, you know, the short division, what you will remember is different. Yeah. When you go for the shoot, is different. Yes, because, yes. you know, shooting is a mere tension. Uh, yes, yes. Like something may happen, may not happen, and all kind of tension. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. In that scenario, trying to do that, you know, short division instantly. <laughs> it's not a joke. Ah, one thing, one homework, what we do is generally, I take the cameraman to the, all the locations. For example, control bomb. There are only three to four locations. Main location of three to four locations. I take cameraman and his team, my team, one day in advance, generally, or two days in advance. We go and stage the whole cinema there. You stage that? We stage the whole cinema. Hmm. For example, when Cherian was on board, uh, the next day was the shoot, uh, second or something. First, we went, I staged the whole thing with my assistant, I staged the whole script. Sir, you'll be here, you'll be here, you'll be talking this, everything. By 4 o'clock, Chedian said, okay, I, I got the idea, I know what I have to do. So, while shooting, what happened is, I used to, I never used to tell Chedian, sir, sir, he is coming, he is sitting here. I never used to tell. I will say, sir, the first scene number one, sir, is bringing uh, cotton, no, sir, that's it. Okay, sir, so you will be sitting here, no. He used to ask me. So, I will educate the cameraman also, <coughs> his team also, about the uh, script, what I am going to, how the artists are going to play the... Uh, so basically, when you're a cinematographer <coughs> and the art director, you know, uh, yes, everybody is together. Yeah. They understand the script in and out. Yes. It's easier to translate. Definitely. If your technicians are aware of the script completely, it is your job is going to be very, very easy. So come, let's wait. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now tell us, you know, uh, 
why this uh, obsession towards a very niche kind of script niche means i'm saying that all or whatever film i saw from, it's all very niche very literature based very artistic very uh, impactful very rural uh, maybe we can say period what is this obsession about why you're not coming to the contemporary world and trying to do Uh, something more, more my my next film is completely a, a, a contemporary script like it's a crime thriller happening in uh, march 2023 such a latest uh, period uh, script Super. only <laughs> one thing is there sir uh, like i told you no sir when i started my second innings um i went to a hero big hero i don't want to name so i went to a big hero and i narrated a story he said uh, okay give me the bound script asking a bound script is definitely that is his freedom and he has got the rights but the thing is he never asked a bound script with the other directors he asked it only with me because i was in a downfall so then still what i thought is whatever whatever money i had i i, I created an office a small office myself and my writer we started writing the script my assistant was there started writing the script during the interval point we were speaking why should see i, I have given so much of hits Okay, in between, so, so two three films are flops, but still, this guy is asking for a bound script. That was a came out of my ego. He is asking for a bound script. We'll do one thing. I am the director. You are the hero. We'll do a film like that for a fun. We we started a conversation. How the second inning started? I am telling you. Even a fun conversation can change your life. <laughs>